Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about Miller syndrome. Miller stands for mitochondrial encephalopathy, lactic acidosis, stroke-like episode syndrome. This is a mitochondrial disease and mitochondria is an important organelle of the cell in the cell cytoplasm. This is caused by a single base transfer RNA mutation. So it is a point mutation. Melas is heteroplasmic and highly variable in expression. Melas mutation is seen 1 to 2% of person with type 2 diabetes mellitus. So what are the features of Melas syndrome? What are the findings? will have mitochondrial encephalopathy, lactic acidosis, acute episode of neurologic dysfunction. Okay. It may be cognitive changes, muscular weakness, because mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It produces ATP. So muscular activity needs mitochondria. Abnormal mitochondrial, mitochondria in the cerebral vessel, we may get abnormal type of mitochondria. Okay, so if you go to the mitochondria syndrome, we have the Mela syndrome, the stroke like the stroke like episodes are often associated with reversible deficits that do not correspond to specific vascular territories. So there are some stroke like episodes and if you take the MRI later on you may not get anything wrong. Okay so that may happen and it is not particularly confined to middle cerebral artery or anterior cerebral artery or posterior cerebral artery. It is not confined to the territory of particular artery. Pathologically, areas of infarction are observed, sometimes with vascular proliferation and focal calcification. Both neuron and vascular smooth muscle cells have altered expression of cytochrome C oxidase. Pathogenesis is driven both by the metabolic changes in the neuron as well as the ability of the cerebral vascular vasculature to respond. The most common mutation observed in MELAS is in the gene encoding mitochondrial transfer RNA leucine MTTL1. Okay, how can I diagnose this disease? How can I diagnose Miller syndrome? It is a mitochondrial disease, so we must do the mitochondrial DNA sequence. We have DNA in the nucleus, DNA in the mitochondria, our problem in the mitochondrial DNA. Then MRI of the brain, muscle biopsy, that is very important because there may be some myopathy along with that of Miller syndrome. CSF analysis to rule out some other diseases like that of toxoplasmosis, some type of meningitis, or maybe some type of syphilitic changes or TB changes, tubercular changes in the CSF. Screening for syphilis. There is important by means of VDRL test, Venal Disease Research Laboratory test, or RPR test. HIV screening is also important. So, what is the treatment of Miller syndrome? Miller syndrome actually has no specific treatment regimen. Symptomatic treatment, suppose if someone has seizure, will give anti-seizure drug like phenytoin or carbamazepine. But this drug has a lot of adverse effects. 
one of them is a plastic anemia so this person should be should get sufficient amount of vitamin supplements we give multivitamin and food rich in ascorbic acid that could prevent the cognitive dysfunction and help the hippocampus of the temporal lobe to to function properly so that there should not be any dementia so the role of ascorbic acid multivitamin to prevent dementia and also to restore or maintain the cognitive function genetic counseling is very important because if this is a female patient then she will will transmit the defective dna by means of mitochondria to his to, to her children okay so during fertilization what happened the maternal mitochondria is transferred from the mom to the baby not the paternal mitochondria because at my at fertilization what happened we know that the ovum is penetrated by the head of the spermatozoa the part that contain the mitochondria does not enter into the ovum so at fertilization it it is in the ovum containing all the mitochondria plus the father or the or the the sperm that does not penetrate any any of the mitochondria mitochondria part is lost only the head the nuclear portion enters the ovum to complete the fertilization so embryo receives all the mitochondria from the ovum so if the, even if the father is has defective mitochondria it cannot be transferred to the babies so genetic counseling is important pregnancy should be discouraged because she can transmit the defective dna to his she can transmit the defective dna to her, her children okay and that's all about the mela syndrome so if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends and please support my channel please subscribe me and have a nice day bye now